forging cyber. Forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV and I'm here at the Rio in Las Vegas for DEF CON 22. Right now I'm speaking with David Litchfield. He is a security researcher and a speaker here at DEF CON. How are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. It's bright and early on Friday morning and you're actually going to be speaking here shortly. Give us a little brief on what you're talking about. Well, I'm speaking about um, Oracle Data Redaction and how it's not working essentially. Uh, there are ways to bypass it. and. Uh, that's not really what's the issue here. What's the issue is that it's now 2014 and Oracle are releasing products without pen testing them, you know, and relying on the, the rest of the world to basically assess their products and stuff. So I don't think that's uh, the, the best way uh, a large vendor like Ven uh, Oracle should be uh, treating security these days. Absolutely. What are some of the changes that you'd like to see made? Well, I would like to see them obviously pen test their products before they go out the door. And if they are already pen testing them, doing a better job of that, of course. I'd like to see them uh, improving uh, their visibility in terms of uh, when new bugs are found, they need to be more open in my opinion. Uh, they're, they're very uh, stum about uh, issues and it leaves people questioning whether they're at risk and, and so on. So I think I'd like to see them more open as well. Right. What do you think are some of the biggest security gaps in their products? Well, uh, to be fair, they've done a, a great job over the past few years of, of improving their security. So, for example, uh, things like PL SQL injection are almost, you know, gone in, in their entirety. There's still gaps, however, when they transfer, say, from PL SQL to, say, Java or C. Uh, and there's things like uh, numeric lateral SQL injection, PL SQL race conditions and stuff. So it's really the edge cases. So they have a, a done a good job in terms of, you know, the, the bulk of the, 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 the main areas where t Oracle used to be weak. So so there's, there's still gaps, though, on, on the edges. Okay. What has Oracle's response been to the vulnerabilities you've discovered? Well, it's good, actually, because uh, typically these days you, you report bug and they uh, start investigating it and then attempt to fix it. So uh, it was only eight months this time for them to patch this, so it's, it's good. So the patches are available, so if you are relying on Oracle data redaction, then please go and get the patches. Excellent. Well, thanks for taking the time out of your day before your talk to talk with us. Um, good luck at your talk today. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We're going to have lots of other videos we're adding to the DEF CON 22 playlist. And there's lots of other great cybersecurity resources on Secure Ninja TV as well. Also, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, LinkedIn. We've got it all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Alicia Webb. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.